guys, this is Love Through Rock 24-7. I thought I'd be do a before and after. This is going to be both before, because i got to wait for the new amp to arrive. But I am outside, as you can tell, by my car, and I haven't made an audio update, and the fact that I also got a new car. So, um, well, here's what's going on. I'll show you the system. All right. I got... Sony explodes in each door. This is, these are four ways. So it's got two tweeters, one mid range, and a woofer. Same over there in that door. Same stereo. By the way, this is a Saturn SL2. Then these are the speakers that came with my stereo. They're uh, six and a half, just like the ones in the door. These are 2A with just a tweeter and a mid-range, I mean a tweeter and a woofer. Then, another recycling center find that's unbelievable. These. MTX Audio. I'm not sure of specific name. They're old. Um, I actually had to do a slight redneck repair right here. This is a engine gasket right here because of the fact that uh, at one point when I was throwing in my um, backpack, the, uh, backpack hit it. That's why they turned this way. They also hit harder. And then, of course, my VR3 200 watt max running at about 50 RMS. I have it going at a 2 ohm load. It's not, I don't think it can handle a 2 ohm load, but it still hits pretty hard. I just recently, um, literally last week upgraded it to 8 gauge wire which it's not truly 8 gauge, the uh, wire is probably, I don't know, 10 gauge. It's not very, th I mean, they advertise it as 8 gauge, but it's not. But, it's better than what I had, I just had old extension cord wire. And this has got more copper than what that had. And everything that came with in the kit, which is nice. Alright. I'm going to do a little bass test before and after. Let's see here. I've got my laptop out here because I no longer have an iPod. Uh, let's see here. I'm sure y'all probably heard this new Chris Brown song. Put it on auxiliary. I don't see how you can hate from outside of the club. You can't even get in. <laughs> Leg out. recommendation of what I can do to get this license plate to stop vibrating and then the plastic reflectors please send, let me know in the comment Let me show you how to keep the dice rolling when you're doing that thing over there, homie.
the new amp is going to be an NTX audio amp, and uh, I got it for fifty-five dollars on eBay. Plus twenty was shipping, so it was about seventy-five dollars. And it's really going to rock this thing, socks. Yes, I just said that. Let me show you basically how I got this thing all wired. This is uh, my. I didn't replace the uh, remote wire. So I left the remote wire as uh, the extension cord. New ground. It's supposed to be a gauge. The um, RCA cable is unbelievably well made. I'm not using one of the crappy ones that comes with a uh, audio kit. I'm using one that comes with a uh, well, it's a 50 foot RCA cable for home audio use. Basically, what I did is ran that red wire along here. The wire comes in from right here, where this boot is, right there, and comes into this 30 amp fuse. I didn't like the one that the uh, amp kit originally came with, so I decided to go to a bar fuse, and then I have what's left of the original power wire going right here. some of the other things I've done to my car. It has all new spark plugs, which on the Saturn are easy to replace. You just pull them out. And this one was filling up with oil. So what I had to do is, as you can see, there's blue seals here. Well, they used to be black. And I had to replace every single seal. And why is that? Huh. Oh, I might need to tighten this. I might need to tighten up this piece of plastic because there's what looks like a little bit of oil has been leaking out around it. I haven't tightened it in a while. I had to get a new fuel cap because, I mean not fuel cap, but oil cap because I bent my old one. A redneck PC valve system because the, uh, they don't make this boot anymore, so I just have a piece of hose going on to what was left of the original one, and uh, that works. It's also got a new PCB valve. It has a newer radiator in it, radiator fan in it, but guess what? And uh, one of our bad snowstorms, I slid on the ice broke the uh, bumper right here and then oh yeah it is leaking a little well there you go I have a cracked motor uh, I have a cracked mount somewhere let's see what is that fluid uh, that's water off the AC though. but other than that that's pretty much it I like my Saturn been real good to me, and I'll tell you one thing though, it is fun to drift. Yes, I drift this out. That's why my tread on my back tires are a little bit lower than the ones on the front. 
No, I just blame it on the fact that they're not Michelin's like the ones on the front. If you're gonna have good tires, get the Michelin, man. But other than that, that's really annoying. Nothing's really changed. Well, this is Love to Rock 24-7. I'm signing off for now. I'll be back with part two when I install the new amp. And I'm going to do an unboxing video for you, and then I'll install the amp and show you what it's going to sound like when it's installed. All right?